Hey, hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, welcome to another Dubai Biker Boys review. This week we are featuring this beautiful, long awaited new uh, Yamaha R6. This is the 2017 slash 18 model. Um, so, this Yamaha fans have been waiting for quite a while because it's been around nearly a decade since Yamaha released a new shape for the R6 model. Um, uh, as you can see, a lot has changed in the shape. Uh, we'll, we'll go through that stuff in a bit. So basically, um, I've got this bike. This is obviously, as you can see, uh, it's got a few modifications done to it. This is my friend's bike as our dealership here don't have any demo bikes to give. Their whole process is complicated and everything. So I just called up my friend, told them, listen, I need your bike for a review. I've uh, been requested by people to get the uh, new R6 uh, to do so. Here it is. Um, I'll go through all the standard basic uh, things that you get with the bike when you buy it and then I'll let you guys know what are these modifications, the extra ones that my friend has installed. So basically, as you can see, the, the shape has changed a lot. Especially um, the front, uh, especially where you have the lights, they've been lowered and you have this huge intake down the center. Um, you know, it's, it's a super sleek uh, front end. I personally love it a lot, you know, when it first came out a lot of people were saying, you know, it's got that alien look and all that, but I mean, the lights and everything, how, how it looks, it's just, it's beautiful. Uh, the tail and everything, it's just, you know, it's very hard to uh, differentiate between this and the Yamaha R1. They look practically identical, you know, with the tail end, the light and everything, it's stunning, you know, so, um, yeah. Uh, so we'll cut down to the performance wise of the bike performance wise not much has changed in the bike um, you know the engine is more or less the same as the previous R6 um, you know there was nothing wrong with the previous R6 uh, generation models engine so if it, if it ain't broke then don't fix it um, what they have got is they've got they brought the suspension the same suspension from the R1 which is different valving for the R6 um, it's got, uh, they've also brought some new um, electrics from the uh, electronics and everything from the R1. So they've got uh, ABS, traction control. Uh, it's got um, three ride modes standard A and B, B being the lowest. And then it's got um, obviously traction control one to six where you can control it and how much you want and everything. It comes with an optional uh, quick shifter, which is just up that's only up there's no down um, it comes the, what else has changed the front brakes have changed so that's uh, slightly um, slightly better than the, the ones before riding height is more or less the same um, they have increased the height from the front end where it's uh, connected with the tail this is just to reduce the amount of uh, weight the, uh, that you have on the tank so it's a bit more comfortable to ride but uh, the rest is uh, more or less the same, so the height is more or less the same. Uh, right, so I'll, I'll run you through how, what I felt through uh, riding it this morning and everything. I mean, um, this is a track bike. Uh, it's an amazing track bike. Uh, that's what my uh, friend was telling me. I've ridden it on the road. It's comfortable and everything, but you know it feels... In, like it wants to be on the track you know it's riding position it's it's aggressive um, you know the, the tank side is lower than the other side bike so you can tuck your body in you know to have your head right under the way it leans the, the, the way it leans the way it handles and everything it's um, in its league with the 600s I would say this is probably up there first or second um, I'll talk about the other 600s when we get them it's a beautiful bike. I mean, it cuts off around 16, 16 and a half RPM. That's super high, you know, it's, uh, it's just screams at the top end. The bike is screaming, especially with this exhaust watch. I'll, I'll run through it uh, a bit later on. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's um, from eight to 16,000 RPM. The bike is just a screamer. It's just, it's a beautiful engine. It rides well, it handles well. What more do you want? I mean, you know, Yamaha, as I said, haven't changed much with the engine and everything. They don't need to. The bike was near perfect beforehand. But just the shape. And, and personally, I love the new shape a lot better than the, than the older one. 
it's just it's beautiful it's stunning i did find a little bit of vibration uh with the bike which was a bit annoying like um especially where the hands are but this could be due to the, the rims uh that my friend has installed which are aftermarket rims i'll also tell you about that in a bit so um yeah that's basically um what's uh th that's basically the r6 bike so it comes in three colors this is the black model it also comes in the blue and the uh, white um, the cluster isn't the same as the R1, it's not the digital one, it's more or less the same as the older one. I mean, it's still nice, I'd still love to see the R1 cluster on this. The bike would be complete if they do that. Um, yeah, so uh, the mods that are on this bike. So basically, uh, my friend has installed a full system Acropovic exhaust, which trust me sounds insane. It's just so beautiful to listen to and everything. So. Um, He's also got these um, carbon fiber rims, which is maybe why the vibration, uh, maybe why I was feeling the vibration, because you know obviously they're a bit lighter and everything, so I did get a bit of vibration in the handlebars. Uh, he's also got uh, he's, he's tuned the bike, so it's a little bit it's a little bit more powerful than the standard R6 that you get. Yeah, he's installed a blip off, so you have a quick shifter down as well on this one. He's got a, a GP stabilizer as well. He's he's practically converted this bike into a track bike, and um, yeah, I mean, it's it's a nice machine to ride. I mean, it's it, it's super comfortable, handling amazing, and that's about it. I mean, uh, I hope I've uh, ran through um, most of the things for you guys. Uh, hopefully, this was uh, helpful. Please make sure to like and subscribe our page to um, see the up and coming other reviews as well. And uh, please leave your comments and suggestions on what you guys want to see in the future or how I can improve and everything. So yeah, thanks a lot for you guys listening. Peace out. Yeah.